So you want to talk about video game mascots? Absolute pixelated legends, icons of the gaming realm. Well, for me, there's one that stands out not because he's the greatest of all the icons of all the mascots, but because he doesn't get spoken about nearly enough. Because I'm quite sure that when I do mention his name here that a lot of you out there probably won't recognise it. That's mainly due to the fact that he comes from a genre that a lot of people don't play anymore and definitely don't go back to on a regular basis. That particular genre is a point and click adventure and the mascot Scott, well, he's over there on the screen. He's George Stobart. Now, yes, as I've said, you probably don't know who George Stobart is, and I'm not going to hold it against you if you don't. But what makes George Stobart an absolute legend in my eyes anyway is the fact that he's well me and you and probably everyone else you know because he's nothing more than the generic everyman. George doesn't have superpowers, he didn't go to a fancy educational establishment and he certainly isn't wealthy enough to buy a host of gadgets and tools to help him do what he needs to do. George just stumbles upon situations that are well above his remit. He's your average American tourist, he's just out for a cup of coffee and a psychopathic clown blows up the cafe. But what George does next is what makes him different from me and you, and that is, well he decides to investigate the goings on, and is quite happy to plunge headfirst into a case to discover this Templar conspiracy. But even this is just one game, and one game can't make a video game icon. Yes, he's a humble American tourist, and yes, he will plunge headfirst into danger just to solve the mystery at hand. But one game, not enough. But the reason that he's such an icon that he went on to have a second game. The Smoking Mirror. And has he learned his lessons? Well, no, what he does is he goes out, he goes on holiday and gets right up to his neck in yet another global conspiracy. And again, he's doing this for the very same reason as he did in his first outing, and that's to stop the end of the world and to save you and me. So surely that in turn makes him an icon for the ages, and if you're still saying no, then he did it again. On the PlayStation 2 this time, and we have a broken sword, the Sleeping Dragon. So now we have George Stobart, who started his adventures on the PlayStation, then swiftly moved on to the PlayStation 2, where he stumbled upon yet another conspiracy that he had to solve to save you and me and our planet from ultimate destruction. So does three games make George a video game icon and an absolute mascot for the point and click genre? And if you're still saying no then, well, he moved on, and he moved on to this one here, Broken Sword, the Angel of Death, on the PC. So not content just to be on the console saving the world so we can live in peace, he decided to switch over to the PC Master Race and save some of those as well. So surely now, at four games spanning three generations, George Sobart has worked his way into your heart, he has become a video game icon and an absolute paragon mascot for the point and click genre. And if you're still saying no, then, well, there's another thing I should bring out and that is the PlayStation 4 game, Broken Sword 5, The Serpent's Curse. And yet again we see our hapless American tourist going out into the world once more and this time to stop a curse created by the devil himself. So now we have multiple generations, five games and a hapless hero who is no more special than either you nor me or anyone else we know. And what better icon could you have for a video game than just a regular Joe like George Stobart? I mean, he's just like me, he's just like you. He's the perfect video game icon and an absolute mascot of the point and click genre. And don't listen to anyone out there who will quite foolishly tell you that that fool from Monkey Island is the true mascot of point and click adventures. Well he's not. It's George Stobart, he's the number one point and click mascot and he's an absolute video game icon for all times. And if you don't believe me, well, just pop out there, pick up the games for yourself and check out George for yourself.